Hey guys, what's up? So there's currently a new game mode in Arcade and it's called The Death Battle. It's a game where you can pick another hero when you die. It will only be available until October 31. Have you already tried it? During the picking phase, you'll find 12 heroes that you can use in the game. Once you die on this game mode, you'll need to pick another hero that you can use among the remaining 11. This game works just like in the brawl where you can use heroes that you don't own yet. During the picking, it has the same mechanics with classic where you can pick what your teammate already picked. At the start of the game, you're already at level 4 with 1000 gold. I wouldn't recommend picking heroes that are only strong in late game. As much as possible, pick heroes that can make you farm more gold or at least the ones that can easily get kills. Mages, fighters, or tanks are suitable in the early game. And if by chance you chose a tank or support, get rid of the blessing right away. It'll only slow your gold gain and you wouldn't be able to activate the blessing if you die. As for me, I picked Martus because he's a good counter against melee heroes and fast in clearing lanes. But since my enemy here is range, I'm at a disadvantage. I think I'm changing hero soon. Once you die, a pop-up will appear and there you will be able to pick your next hero. You can change your emblem and pick either the default build for that next hero or modify it yourself. If you choose the modify build, it means you'll need to buy your preferred items one by one. But if you choose the default build, it will auto buy all the items in your preferred build in order. So the fighter in the early game didn't work. I hope I can gain more gold with Cyclops. Cyclops can easily burst down squishy heroes during the early game. I might be able to gain a couple of kills with him. As you can see here, we have two Rogers on our team. The game mode allows you to have two copies of the same hero even if it's on the same team. Although two is the maximum amount of copies you can have. So if one of the players dies, be it ally or foe, they can pick Roger as their next hero as long as there are two copies alive inside the game. As you can see, I just used my execute spell. Remember that you'll have the same battle spell throughout the game, so you'll have to pick a spell that's beneficial for most heroes. I usually prefer flicker and flame shot, but I'm feeling a bit adventurous today, so I'll pick execute instead. By the way, there are two ways to win in this game. It's either you can end it in the usual way where you destroy your nexus or your team is able to score 30 kills in the game. As of now, we only have 7 kills in total, so it's still a long way to go. I don't know if either she's lagging or doesn't like her hero, but anyways, more score for us. Oh yeah, in this game mode, the map changed a bit as well. It got a little darker and some more Halloween feels into it. It's already nearing 5 minutes and I think it's almost in mid-game. Some people prefer the burst heroes like your Dora and Aurora in mid-game, but I don't recommend it that much. These heroes are quite squishy, and during this time of the game, the opponents would already have an item or two on them. Bursting down an opponent for a quick score won't be that easy. I 
died, so for my next hero, instead of a burst type, I picked the ones that can sustain. My option was either Fulvius or Alpha, but since Fulvius relies on the blink and dash skills of his opponents, which at times makes him overcommit, I chose Alpha instead. By the way, in this game mode, instead of respawning on your base, you'll respawn on your team's half part of the map. If you're lucky, you'll even respawn in the middle of a clash. Also, in this game mode, selling items will restore its original price. So if you bought a wrong one, you can just sell it and buy another one. This is why I don't prefer one-shot heroes during mid-game. Oh nice, I'm now the king of tricksters. By the way, you'll only get this if you've already killed 4 in a row. I think it will reveal you on the enemy's map though, but at least you get this big shining pumpkin head. I think our Leslie is complimenting me. Why thank you? I'll go home for now. Looks like they still want some. Now I'll go home. There's only 7 kills left though before the match ends. Oh man, Matilda initiated. Might not be the best decision during that moment. Yep, wrong decision. One more thing though, if you keep dying and gain more than 10 deaths, it's said that you'll get a penalty and your next hero's attributes will get weakened. So I got curious on how bad this penalty can get and tried feeding on a different game. I really felt bad for doing this though. After that feeding program, I didn't see any of the said weakened attributes. All I got is that all of the unavailable heroes is now refreshed, as well as this rare status icon. Well, that was a scan. Going back to the game. I don't have any other sustains, so I think I'll go with Fulvius. Man, Fulvius flew that far. This is the reason why I chose Alpha instead of Fulvius. On the next one, I guess I'll pick Harley. The score is already 29-30. I guess the game's about to end. So what can you say about the death battle mode? Is this more fun than playing Brawl? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. That's all for this video. Stay safe and thank you for watching. Victory!